we look at the land and everything on the land, especially plants, as relatives that they're directly related to them, just like our human relatives, like our aunts and uncles. And I can't remember who first said to use the word kinship, but then at the, about the same time we realized, yes, it's a kin-centric relationship, you know, that everything's focused on, on family and that, you know, we're related to each other, sharing breath that when we exhale, we're exhaling carbon dioxide, we're exhaling things that the plants especially like to inhale. And then they play a direct role in providing nutrients for us, oxygen and, and food and so on. And so it's this really unique um, and powerful and important relationship that I was hoping other people would recognize we are in constant direct connection with things like plants. They are, they are our relatives. And in a lot of ways, we are those plants. And those plants are us because we share this concentric relationship through, through breath, through energy, through, if you want to think of that as soul or spirit. And so when I was invited by Timber Press to write the we got a book. That's this whole idea of what I mentioned before about sharing breath. That's what iwi means is breath. Because you notice in the subtitle it's the kinship of plants and people. And I was trying to in the book make it more than just um, like a dictionary of names of plants and how to use the plants and here's the Latin name and here's how the native peoples referred to it. I wanted to tell the stories of the plants and bring them to life because that's how as native peoples we first look at the plants and it's also how we share knowledge about different plants through stories and you as you read the book you'll see stories a lot of times and for each of the plants and that's the best way I think to get an idea and connect to the plants and learn about them. That's how, as a native person, I was taught about plant knowledge. It was always through stories. It was never just, like my grandmother would never, for example, just say, okay, today we're gonna learn about this plant. Tomorrow we'll learn about that plant. It was more like she would be in this, this arbor that my grandfather had built out of pieces of wood but it was all covered with vines and so on and it was inside there what would be 10 degrees cooler sometimes because it was so shaded and she would be processing the plants that we had collected earlier you know grinding them or drying them or whatever and then while I was helping her do that she would tell me stories about the plants and over time as I was growing up that's how I learned about plants from my grandmother, my mother, my grandfather, as we I helped him in his in our cornfield and you know helping with the beans and other things that we were growing and so anyway that's uh that's why I wrote the book in such a way.